Looked like it had quite a few games that were on clearance, either for five or ten bucks. Are you a gamer or are you a seller? Both. Both? Yes, ma'am. Can you get all of them? So I started off in electronics and I was pretty excited to see that they had a lot of games for only five dollars a piece on clearance. There were quite a few titles that had already sold out here, unfortunately, but I do think I'm still going to be able to find some that are going to make a good profit. FIFA 21 for 5 bucks is a pretty good deal, so is Final Fantasy 7, the remastered version. Looks like they had some other $5 games that were gone, so always double check in the uh, electronics section. Look on the bottom row to see if they have any clearance games. So of course we had to check out the other sections, and it didn't look like they had any games on clearance in the Switch area, but the Xbox section looked like it had quite a few games that were on clearance, either for 5 or 10 bucks. The Madden 21 MVP Edition was 10, the regular Madden was 5, just Dance 2021 was 5, Ryan's World was 5, Battlegrounds was 5. I also checked the games on the very bottom and scanned those as well, including the Sonic Forces, and I think that was a good deal for 5 as well. Look at these games down here. I see you've got some on clearance down here for 5 bucks. Right. Are you guys just trying to like make some space? No, they're just getting rid of them, I guess. They're just getting rid of them. Uh -huh. okay. As long as we getting rid of them, Mark, now. Can I, can I uh, Oh, you want to see this one? Sure. I always use the barcode scanner on the Walmart app to double check the prices, and that's how I find if they're cheaper than the price is marked. And this one? Yeah, I'll take a look at all the $5 games. Oh, okay. It's three. Three. So you got yeah, one more. Just Dance. Yeah, that's one more. Just Dance. You got an Xbox? They got some Xbox ones on sale, too. Okay. Yeah. I want to get these. Can I get a couple copies of these? Is that okay? Couple copies of what? Of, uh, I'm sorry, the Just Dance and then the, uh, the FIFA. I guess so. I mean, I, mean, I don't know if you can get a couple of them or not. Let me ask somebody though, Cody. Sure. I guess so. They're on clearance now. I mean, okay. Can I get all of them? Can you get all of them? Yes, ma'am. You're my hero. All of these right here? Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. Oh. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, yeah, we'll take a look at the Xbox games, too, if that's okay. Yep. So we moved over to the Xbox section, and I proceeded to check these games with the Walmart app as well. And I felt pretty good thinking that they were going to sell me all of the games because they were on clearance and they wanted to get rid of them. Little did I know that they were going to have an issue with me when I went to check out. Are you a gamer or are you a seller? Both. Both? Yes, ma'am. You still pretty good with them things? Yeah, I, I like doing video games because they're small and they're they're easy to, to ship and deal yeah. with, you know. Right. But I do have a collection. I just never have time to play it. I buy them, I sell them, I collect them. I I got way too many. <laughs> but that's just how it goes, I guess. I'm debating on if I want to get a bunch of those Madden games or not. So the Madden NFL 21 games were selling for $14.99 on Amazon, and if I was going to pick them up for five dollars a piece. Using the FBA calculator, I'd make about $3 profit per game, which is a pretty good return on investment, but these games usually tank in price when they go on clearance. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to grab them or not. I'm not sure. Yeah, and they come out with new ones every year, too. They, they, they buy a lot. I mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't really know a lot of that, but I've Well, I think we still did pretty good. Yeah, I have a taxi jump card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they accept it all the time. You just have to punch in the number. I, I, mean, I know how to do it. Uh -huh. But I don't know if they'll let you uh, pay $5 for, for the taxi. I've, I've never had an issue with it before. They just they just punch in the number and then it, but they don't have to pay taxes on it because it's for resale. That's what the certificate's for. Right, 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 right. So. Sure. Here, so. No, you're good. Uh, you're good. For some reason, somebody told me that some of here they were supposed to get this many items. They're going to use tax exempt or something of that nature. Okay. Because you're going to resell it, right? Yeah, and that's and that's what the tax ID card is for. That. Hey, look, you want to buy all these movies, right? I mean, these are games. So you want to use a tax exempt card? But he said when he filled out the paperwork, you know, he had some business, government, other things. Yeah, they they know I'm a they know I'm a business. Yeah, but I just told. I 
We got this guy not sure. He's got a higher IQ than any man alive. He's gonna fix everything. Mm -hmm. well, if he is, he wants to get the one. Yeah, I've, I've used my tax exempt card plenty of times. Yeah. This, this is the first time I've heard that you can't use it for more than a certain number of items. So. Is this a yes or a no? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's what it says on the back. So. Mm -hmm. well, we definitely want to get in the hot water, right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just give you guys a quick moment here to take a look and see that they did not end up charging me tax on all of those video games, which is a huge help because over time it adds up when you can save that tax money. Yes, ma'am. I don't want them tackling me at the door. I don't want them tackling me at the door. Right. Thank you, ladies. Check this out right here. X Rocker Solo Gaming Chair. Twenty bucks. Uh, normally seventy. Oh, cool. Here we got Paw Patrol chairs. Five bucks. Looks like some. Games for five bucks. We got these Boba Fett still for 17. Honestly, I think 17 is too high for these toys right here. Plus, the boxes are pretty flimsy and they can rip easily, so that's why I keep passing on those. I'd buy them if they were a lot cheaper. Now, there was some clearance stuff back here, but it looks like they've already cleaned out a lot of it. Got a lot of these toys down here, these little displays. I haven't scanned these or anything, so Barbies for 25 bucks. Now, of course, we have to go up and down every single aisle to see if there's any clearance stuff, and it's always worth it to just take the time, use the Walmart app, double check the prices, because the prices on the clearance tags may not be accurate, and that's why we always take the time to use the Walmart scanner just to double check stuff, and that's, that's how we find all the hidden clearance deals that we're always uh, showing in these videos. So just kind of going up and down this aisle, and we're going to keep on moving and see what else we can find. These are way cool. These are, I bet these are going to sell good. Pretty and Bose Playland. Sand. Oops. 15 bucks. I always have to double check what's actually here because this is not what's there. So they do have some of these guys right here. This is 568. It was 848 for Darth Maul. He's selling for like 15, so it's only a couple bucks profit. AT Battle Droid. Chewbacca for three bucks. One is five bucks. A bunch of those. Piggies. Piggy, piggy, piggy. We got G.I. Joe retro figures for 1041. I got Gujitsu's for 738. G.I. Joe. 1723. Rat trap is 1339. It's actually over here. So I always want to make sure that you're scanning and looking at the prices. Now they do have a lot of Lego, but most of them are in the wrong spots. So I'm going to take a little bit of time and scan and kind of go up and down and uh, see what I can find. But I do think that they should have some 
hidden clearance stuff in here, even though there is a lot of stuff that is not in the right spot. There's the skate park. There's the skate park right here. 24. Uh, somebody had it hidden back there. So, always got to take the time to go through and scan and double check all the prices and stuff because you never know what you're going to find. I am looking in particular for retired sets. That's what I'm looking for today. These are still not cheap enough yet. These are still too much. These guys are like 10, 12 bucks. The videos are like 10, 12, and I would rather pay like five. So I'm just going to leave those there. The video was recently discontinued, but these prices are still kind of high. So it's 36. So I'm going to pass on that. This is a pretty good deal though. This is 48.75, and I believe this is already selling for like 90 on Amazon. That's still more than I want to pay. So we're going to go ahead and leave that. Now these right here, these are retired or retiring soon. And I think these are uh, 18 bucks here at the store. Let's see. 18 bucks. So, and this is normally like a $30 set. So I think I'm going to have to grab these right here. Grab those. This one right here is 12. 12 bucks. Yeah, and that's normally a $20 set as well. Now they have a lot of these little narwhal things. These guys right here. And I'm debating on if I, oops, I'm debating on if I want to grab them or not, because I think they're five bucks. See? Five bucks. And these are selling for $12.48, so it'd be like a $2 profit. These are discontinued. If you look on the LEGO website, these are discontinued, and they have a whole bunch of them, so I bet they'll go down in price. So this is another good set, but these are still 30 and I'd rather pay a little bit less, but this is discontinued now, so these are probably going to get harder to find. So I probably should grab it, but I've already got a bunch of those. But... I will pay full price for this set right here. Check this out. This is the Spider-Man Venom Crawler. You got Iron Venom. This is 30 bucks, and that's the normal price. But this is discontinued, and Spider-Man stuff sells really well, especially right now with the movie being out. So I think we're going to have to grab these so we can add these to the uh, stockpile. Whoops. You guys didn't see that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of those. Yeah, this set was actually a Walmart exclusive, meaning you could only find it at Walmart and Lego.com, and it's recently been retired, so look out for it on clearance at Walmart. It's a great pickup. And don't worry, I'll pick this one up too. But I'm not really seeing too much else that's on clearance or worth grabbing, so I'm gonna take a little time and scan and see what else I can find, and I'll let you guys know. So, uh, here's what I found. I found a Spider-Man mech set. This is 20 bucks. This is selling for 40 on Amazon right now. This is another Spider-Man set. This is pretty cool. I got the uh, Venom Crawlers over here. Pretty pumped about those right there. This is recently retired, and I think this is going to do really well because this has Dr. Octopus and Spider-Man. Uh, this is only 20% off right now, so I'm kind of on the fence about it, but... I think I'll probably just grab them and add them to the stockpile. There's some other ones I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait on those. I think I'm going to wait on these little guys too down here. Somebody's going to strike it big if they come back here and they're hitting it right when they're doing all the clearance. So I do think I'm going to grab these. Even though these are 50 bucks a piece, these are selling for 100 on Amazon. Like 90 to 100 on Amazon and Walmart. So I do think I'm going to grab those right there. But the rest of this stuff, I'm not going to mess with. So I think we're gonna grab a few more things and then get out of here, so we're doing good. Well, real quick, I think we need to get Bernie a toy. And I was looking down here. I think, oh, what's this? Nope. We'll get Bernie this toy right here. Nice try, nice catch. Love you so much, he's a good boy. 
And of course, no trip to Walmart would be complete without checking the clearance aisle. And we always want to double check just because there might be some good stuff here that we didn't see in the other aisles. Some stores are really good about putting their items in the clearance aisle. Other stores just mark stuff on clearance and leave it in their particular aisle. Like you might find clearance toys and the toys or the video games and video games. Or you might find everything here. So this is why we always double check. So just kind of looking through, looks like we've got some different Raya toys. We've got some Blippy, got some Barbie stuff. Nothing's really jumping out at me, but we're still going to look through really quick just to see. Looks like we've got some Pioneer Woman, uh, Melissa and Doug. Got some different Barbie dolls over here. Got a couple Gujitsus up there. Nothing was really jumping out at me, but, uh, you know, we'll just take another minute, just kind of make sure got uh, shark navigator don't need a new vacuum but hey we got some legos over here lego duplo these guys were on sale a uh, little bit off but uh, not really amazing they had a few more toys but overall nothing too uh nothing too amazing in the clearance aisle but it's always worth checking so it's all good no, nobody cares. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I didn't record a financial breakdown for this one because there wasn't really a ton of sets there. Keep your eyes open for those retired Spider-Man sets because those are selling for a premium on Amazon right now and the price is only gonna go up. Some of those you can find on clearance right now if you take the time to scan and uh, look in your local stores. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you later.